in this election is that Trump is going for the bro vote. And when I say brother, I don't mean like an actual brother, but I mean it like the way black people use it. I mean, obviously, there's a, there's a huge gender gap. Um, and, you know, I've done this one to death, too. But, you know, someone has to explain to me why people who love Trump see him as this icon of masculinity. <laughs> This man who I used to... It's not funny. You know, who oh, just never shuts up. Wrong. Uh, under two pounds of bronzer. Women talk a lot. And always complaining and whining. Like Why a woman. Why do you see this as an epitome of masculinity? And is it good if it is? I think that the gender issue that Democrats have is much broader than Donald Trump specifically. I mean, Trump also, there's the narrative, he's a billionaire who's married to a supermodel, who's become president on the first try, who, you know, I mean, look, people no, can say whatever they want I about get, it, but there yes. is that component of right. an alpha male who's ultra successful and is probably about to become leader of the free world again. There is the ad. Um, but to the, to the issue of where Democrats are on this, I mean, I don't think you would be able to get many Democrats, elected Democrats, for example, to come on. I don't know if any of them, honestly, would to come on this show and say, I don't think that a you know 18-year-old who identifies as a woman should be able to play on a on a girls' team. Uh, or rather, I don't think that's a problem. Or they do think it's a problem, rather. They think right. that you know they won't say that they view that as an issue. And so when you talk about the gender identity cult that the Democrat Party has embraced, and then you're like, why don't we have more people that are pro-masculinity on the Republican side? There's also all these total charlatans going around who are basically hate men and are always talking about toxic masculinity. Yes. And it's a Democrat reality. And really, the truth is there's very few, there are very few efforts that are made, I would say more broadly in politics, right and left, but definitely on the right, to speak to men who are in a difficult position right now. You know, female earnings relative to men, female college graduation relative to men. Women have made all this tremendous progress and now we're in this society where, you know, very few men tend to have a lot of options when it comes to mates and a lot of guys. They're not going to start the next billion dollar company. And they're wondering, well, you know, what's in it for me? And then when they're told, uh -oh. oh, yeah, by the way, like, she's we're getting putting immigrants up. up in four star hotels in New York City who just got here yesterday. Sorry that you can't pay your bills. Well, Buck, okay. I'm, I'm just Buck, I'm, speaking Buck, to I'm, what the reality is. So, I'm so sorry that men have had to now endure the same inequities <laughs> that women have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah take the abuse. Look, what you're saying is... Take the abuse. No, no, no. This is why Kamala will lose. Well, why? Because the articulate woman made a point? No, because <laughs> instead of addressing that what are you men afraid of, white have man? concerns that, that should be spoken to no, politically, no. especially working class men who are feeling the, uh, the pinch right now economically, you know, the, the media on the coast, and look, I'm a part of it. I grew up in New York City. I grew up in Manhattan, I understand. Just kind of mocks these no, people no, as though they don't no, count. Excuse, and Donald Buck, Trump speaks to Buck, them and for you, them, whether he's of all, them or not, does not matter. Buck, First of all, I do appreciate you trying to bridge the gap between what you think I'm going to say and what I actually said. <laughs> but I'm actually going to tell you what I said. No, no, you're now you're starting to. I've got this is a a classic manipulator mindset. Good morning, Willie. The classic manipulator mindset. I'm going to reiterate what I said to you. Obviously, you're confused. Obviously, you don't understand my logic no he understood it it was a very obvious point <laughs> an articulate woman made a point and now you're mad about it no you're saying exactly what he's saying the left has been mocking men's issues and men's problems for a very long time and they can't understand that i mean we have a video okay i i have a video of her this morning on msnbc saying that biggest issue is right wing men in this country so the left is just thrown them aside and now they're confused. What are we supposed to do with these people? Uh, but to keep taking your, your well articulated point, I'm ready for it. I love, I love when we bust out those vocabulary words to just emphasize what we're trying to say in the most obvious points. Keep going. Yes, queen, was, say it. I'm sorry that men have to confront the same inequities that women. The next point I'm- Exactly. I'm sorry you have to confront the same inequities as women, and we're going to emotionally and physically abuse you until you feel our pain. Keep going. I'm going to make, which is not the one you are going to make, is that 
when people are talking about masculinity, I do think the way it's being described is not the, the discussion you're having about um, gender and sports and gender identity, mm -hmm. but instead the idea of how I think white men, and Tell you me. talked about this on right your show and others, okay. feel as though they are disenfranchised and being right. left behind by either the progress that women are making or no. otherism or the browning of America because there no. is the notion oh, that God. they are entitled to be in a certain oh, position they're no longer in. God, but shut. the reality <laughs> is progress works such that everyone must go in the direction of it. And so if some people are being yeah. left behind so This is progress. Part, Look, if we have to choose a candidate because of the color of their skin, not based on the content of their character or what they've actually accomplished, it's just white men dealing, deal with it. Deal with it, God. God, your truth isn't truth, okay? Your truth isn't truth. I mean, Buck Sexton made the most obvious point ever. I, <laughs> like, like, there's a reason why Tim Waltz is waltzing around with his gun. Kamala Harris is talking about her sick Glock in her compartment, bro. I got a Glock. Uh, does that mean white guys are going to vote for me? Is that what it means? I mean, l just listen to this for a few seconds. <laughs> he said that we've got these cities and these towns that are being overrun by gangs and the crime out of control. I absolutely agree with that. Yeah. And guess what? It's the MAGA gang. It is the white supremacists that have decided to descend upon places such as Springfield, Ohio. So I agree with him. <laughs> I just disagree with who the problems are. The problems are him and his minions. The problems aren't the people the that have problems. come to make our economy stronger, the people that have <laughs> actually been able to help to continue to make sure that we got out of the big... I love when they... <laughs> when people start to get bouncy and they get their preaching voice on. The problems are the MAGA white supremacists in America. But at the same time, you just need to deal with it, boy. You need to deal with it. So the question is poised to you. Why has the left decided that the straight white male is important to get the votes? Because there's no other reason why they're doing these stupid, hunt, these hunting trips and calling him coach and saying, <laughs> talking about his football career constantly. Kamala Harris talking about her clock. It's very obvious. Oh, these are just genuine points. Yeah, because in election season, everything is real. Everything is genuine and nothing is on purpose. Everything is calculated. <laughs> if you don't know that, God, welcome. Welcome to reality. Welcome to the, the lies of the election season. Why do you think they are starting to garner? They want the support, but at the same time, they don't. And they tell you, just deal with it. The browning of America. What are we talking? We're not even talking about race. We're talking about male issues. It's amazing how, how people, as soon as they like start hearing about male, they're like, oh, I know you're talking about white guy problems. No, no, no one even brought up race, but now you are because um, when you're a race, when you're a grifter and your whole life is based on uh, grifting racial tensions in America, you got to keep that narrative going, don't you? You truly.